All right, and welcome to another episode of Catholic Chapter House Video. Uh, I am David Gilbert, and uh, today I just wanted to speak to you about um, hearing our shepherd's voice, the need of, of us hearing our shepherd's voice. And, and by I mean shepherds, I'm, I'm talking about our bishops. Um, it's very important that we hear from our leaders uh, to give us their flock, uh, direction and uh, and guidance and support and I must say um, the past week and a half two weeks I have been very very thankful to the Lord and to our bishops here uh, up in Canada um, and uh, makes me proud it makes me wonder if uh, if this is a turning point for the uh, the Catholic Church and for Catholics in, in Canada so I'm very very excited here um, so uh, what happened, uh, for some of you who may not know, uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, the liberal, uh, leader of the, uh, federal party of, uh, Canada, the elections are coming up. He basically said that, uh, any MPs in his party, uh, who are not pro-choice, uh, are not welcome in his, in his party. And, uh, this just was a, a firestorm, uh, in the news, um, and uh, we had Archbishop of Toronto, Cardinal Collins. Uh, I believe he was the first to break the ice uh, with his letter uh, disapproving of Trudeau's statement in opposition. And since then, uh, several other bishops have. Uh, the Bishop uh, Henry of, of Calgary, uh, Archbishop Smith of Edmonton, uh, you know, and what he said was, uh, was outraged at Trudeau's decision and calling it um, dictatorial. Uh, which it is, uh, and then Archbishop Prendergast of Ottawa, uh, which is Trudeau's uh, bishop. And for those of you who aren't in Canada, uh, Ottawa is kind of like uh, the, the, it's the capital of Canada. It's like DC of uh, of the U.S. Anyways, what what Archbishop Prendergast said, I want to I want to read this to you. He said uh, his letter was entitled uh, "Being in Communion with the Catholic Church on Moral Issues." And uh, the letter says, uh, One may not dissent from these core teachings on life issues and be considered a Catholic in good standing. And that's, that's important. And it's not just in life issues, but in most issues of the church, big issues. Um, you know, we need to be, uh, you know, we, we can't pick and choose what we believe. And sadly, that's what uh, a lot of us have, uh, have done is picking and choosing what we would believe in terms of contraception, gay marriage, cohabitation, you know, premarital sex, uh, etc. Uh, and we, we can't deviate from that. And um, so that's that's an important point uh, to think about. Uh, but anyways, uh, going on, uh, he says, you know, one, the position of the Catholic Church in favor of life at all stages is clear and unchanging. A person who takes a position in contradiction to the teaching of the Catholic Church on value, on the value and dignity of human life from the moment of conception to the moment of natural death and persists, and this is important, and persists in the belief. Because a lot of us, you know, we could be misinformed, we don't know through ignorance or, you know, how we were brought up. Um, we may not know what the Church teaches or what the truth is. And so that, that's an important point to make. That you persist in this belief after knowing uh, that it's contrary to church teaching. If you persist in it, so that, that's that's a key point. But anyways, I go on and persist in this belief is not in communion with the church's value and teachings in which we believe uh, and faithfully transmit to today's uh, teachings of Christ. And basically, uh, in his note as well, he said, "Bottom line, you cannot be a Catholic in good standing." Uh, which means you can't receive, you're, um, you know, not in a state of grace, uh, so you need to reconcile yourself, uh, with the church. Um, but anyways, I'm just so pleased, uh, to hear this. Um, you know, there's been a lot of controversies, um, throughout the years and even just this year, uh, with, uh, you know, silence from the bishops. Granted, uh, I know many of them behind the scenes. There's a lot of stuff we don't know behind the scenes. So, 
Um, you know, I can't comment on that, but, you know, from what it appears when we don't hear anything, you know, it, it, it is difficult for the faithful, and, and uh, so I'm very pleased for our bishops for doing this, standing up for life, and, and speaking out about it so publicly and boldly. And I just ask you, um, you know, please pray for our priests and bishops. Um, please pray that the Holy Spirit may give them the courage and grace to boldly defend the faith and to take care of the souls that Christ has entrusted to them. And uh, I just want to end off uh, with, um, you know, in John 10, Christ talks about the Good Shepherd and his sheep. And he says, My sheep listen to my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Do you listen to Christ's voice? Do you know his voice? And if you do, are you following him? Anyways, pray for me. I'll be praying for you. And remember, prepare yourself spiritually, be bold, trust in the Lord, and take action. God bless you all. Bye-bye.